Because the biggest consideration for like, let's say full supply chain assembly in the US, and by that I mean, you're not necessarily sourcing all of the parts like the chassis and the heat sinks and stuff in the US, but chip to ASIC minor full unit fabrication in the US is going to be much harder. You know, BitDeer is going to start using the Arizona TMC facility. The nodes for that are only four nanometer, right? Bitmain and all these other ASIC manufacturers, except maybe what's minor, they might still be using four nanometer with Samsung. I don't know if it's three yet, but they're all using three nanometer from TSMC's Taiwan facilities, right? Three, nan- three nanometer is much more efficient. It's going to be more competitive. So that's the biggest, I think, hurdle to adoption of that business model in the US. It's not even the labor costs and things like that. It's like, are the chips that you're going to have in the US actually be, are they going to be competitive enough? I do think, though, this does open up conversations for trying to onshore more of this just to uh, de-risk the entire supply chain for these things coming in. I mean, US-based ASICs are carrying a premium to ones that are imported from Southeast Asia right now. And the whole reason for that is not just because of tariff scares. I mean, You know, Trump's going to implement 10% tariffs on China for all goods on top of the 25 to 30% that was already levied during his first term, right? And so it's not just about the tariffs, but it's about the fact that there's been a, a complete bottleneck for ASICs getting into the country from outside. So that creates a premium for onshore hash rate. I do think that it makes sense for these miners to start figuring out how they can actually manufacture this stuff onshore. And I think that was something that they were already kind of thinking of before. And this probably just is going to catalyze them further towards that point.